my scrappy friends. I have a fun layout for you today and this layout is in the series that I am doing on my channel that is about my family history. So I'm going to go right into it and I am using this paper from the Poolside collection and I really was wanting to do, you know, like cut it like how some of the papers are already cut like on a diagonal and I did completely didn't think about the fact that I once I cut it it wasn't going to fit back in the same spot but then I remembered that there are quite a few layouts that I've seen where it looks like it's folded over and since I already cut it I couldn't fold it but I could put a piece of another piece of paper like that wood grain and then almost make it look like I folded that uh, floral paper you know, so you could see the floral. And I liked the stripe part of this because it's pretty neutral. And I wasn't sure if I was going to want to journal right on the background or not. So at this point, I don't know really what I want to do. And I'm kind of trying to figure out which side I want that flap to go. So... Like if I want it at the bottom or the top, I wasn't really sure, but I, at this point, I kind of decide I like the wood grain on the bottom. So I'm going to put it there and that's the photo that I am using. And this is a photo that was scanned and then um, on my computer and then I printed it out in black and, well, it was already in a black and white type of photo anyway, but I put it more in black and white. And I think I'm running out of ink, so it's pretty light, but I don't mind that it's a little bit lighter. It kind of lightens up this layout a little bit. And since that floral is a little bit more uh, vintage-y looking, <laughs> it actually kind of makes this a little bit more vintage. And I don't mind that, though I think <clears throat> throughout this series, I really would like to make my layouts quite modern looking so this is a little bit more vintage looking than maybe I would like to do on most of them but I mean like I don't mind and I'm trying to keep it open mind and just kind of let the papers or what I'm feeling at the time of when I make these be you know how they come up come about I don't want to force it you know and I'm looking through the die cuts from the Dear Lizzie and the Amy Tan and just kind of seeing what they have. I'm not sure exactly what I want to use, but I'm looking for ones that are about love or something like that. So, And then I find those triangles down at the bottom. And so I keep those out because I'm thinking I might use that because at this point I'm thinking that I want to put maybe some triangles or... And you're going to see me play around with this because I was at first thinking that maybe I might want to do like, like a diamond type of shape and I'm trying to figure out how I can do that. <laughs> Math and geometry are not my strong point. So as you can see, I'm kind of like playing around with this. I'm not really sure how I want it to go. It's making me laugh because <laughs> I don't know. I should have, well, at one point I realized that that square on the side that has an ampersand in it is the perfect size and that I really should have just made a whole bunch of squares and then just turned them. But of course I wasn't thinking about that when I did it. So, and then at this point I'm like, well, maybe I'll just cut off. Is that when I, at some point I think maybe I'll just cut off the ends and make triangles instead of trying to be all complicated. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've gotten to that point yet. I know I have the one triangle there. It kind of takes me quite a few minutes. And as you can, I mean, I sped this up. So you're really seeing a quick version of what is going on of me trying to figure out how I'm going to get a diamond shape out of this. Like I said, I don't really know what I was thinking, but okay. So at this point I'm like, Oh, I'll just use. And then I, then I realize, Oh, that's, that's the diamond shape that I was looking for. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, maybe I'll just use these anyway. 
and I think they're a little too big, so I'm gonna I am gonna cut them down. But I really like that paper from Dear Lizzie, and I am loving this the new Dear Lizzie line from the documentary. I didn't think I was gonna like it when I first seen it. I thought, oh, why do I want a back to school, you know, inspired? But I really like it. It is so much more than that back to school type of theme. I love the watercolor parts. So I'm really excited to use it and it works really well with the poolside collection and I do add a little bit of Amy Tan and as you can see here I'm cutting them down and I'm not going to show you all of them that I do. I do quite a few but I did want to show the first couple and I use a piece of paper from Crate Paper Maggie Holmes and it's just like a ledger paper and then I use a Dear Lizzie and then I use an Amy Tan paper. For those triangles so now I'm gonna put them on and I'm just trying to figure out I know I want to put them pretty much in a straight line so I'm just kind of figuring out if I want them all one way and I'm realizing I don't I want them to be kind of imperfect and I like this I don't want too many I know I want to add some of these die cuts like pieces of ephemera but I'm not really sure and then I realized I should really tape this down before I mo start moving stuff around and then these end up going all over the place because I would do that I would leave them there and then they would start going all over my table and lay out and then I'd be really irritated because they weren't staying in one place I really wish that I had like a sewing machine because I think that would have been fun to sew those down but I do not like hand stitching whatsoever so that wasn't gonna happen <laughs> and I'm playing around with this I was thinking maybe I'll put it down at the bottom do I like that I really like the gold in that but it just I don't know I just so I abandoned that and I think huh maybe I'll put these down and I really like the way that they look they match those papers so well I love how I can I love how certain lines even though they're made by different designers and I mean, I don't know the entire process of how a designer always has to make, you know, their lines. Like, I don't know if the company American Crafts is, says, that, you know, Li uh, Lizzie or Elizabeth, right, Kirshner, or like Amy Tana. I don't know if they say, oh, you know, we want you to make a line for this time of the year. And this is the concept that we're thinking and you go with it. Like, I don't know if they do that. I know sometimes on Becky Higgins, like I was listening to one of the Becky Higgins designers and she was saying that they kind of give you like an, uh, there, they kind of give you an idea of what they want from you and then you go and you take it from there. So I don't know, but I love how these lines all work together and crepe paper technically is, it's American craft, but it's not like, it's not like Amy Tan and Dear Lizzie. So, but I love how they all work together. All that to say, I love how they all work together. <laughs> and I did add some more Dear Lizzie paper behind the photo. I just thought it needed a couple of extra layers so it didn't fade into the background. Because <clears throat> as much as I love that that crepe paper line is very neutral. It is so easy for stuff to kind of get lost behind it. And so I'm kind of playing around. I really like the way that ampersand is up in the top with with that gold craft piece, but I just I don't know. It wasn't working <laughs> as you can see. I'm so I'm trying to make it work on that side. And then it's uh, so it's not working. But I'm leaving it there, and I figure I'll go and do something else. So I'm take this washi tape from Pink Fresh Studios, and I'm just going to lay it up on the top. I kind of like that, and I am going to add some on the bottom. I'm looking at it to see if I like it, because it kind of covers up that top triangle. And I'm try I tried to decide if I really wanted that to be covered up, and I decided that I didn't care. <laughs> So I decided to move that paper clip. It's just a teal little paper clip. It came in a kit from like Click Kits or something. So I'm still playing around with where I want it. And I'm not sure. Tapping my fingers because I'm not sure. And then I go, hmm, maybe what if I do this? And I really like the way that that turned out. 
trying to decide now where I want that. I have no idea since that's what I had up at the top. And I decide I'm going to tape this down now so it doesn't move. And I don't tape the paper clip. I just taped that piece. And then I pop dotted the one side. And it's been really humid, so my tape did not want to come off <laughs> that paper. I'm going to look at the puffy stickers from Amy Tan, and they are so cute. And I'm really just trying to embellish it a little bit. I know that a lot of what I have in mind for this is doing like journaling and stuff because this album really is going to be about telling my family's stories and our family heritage. And this is a, fa a picture of my grandmother or no, my great grandmother and her husband. And I have never, I shouldn't say I haven't met her because I may have, but I was a baby when she died. So I don't know her. I just know stories of her and of wow, what a sweet lady she was and all this. So, so I really wanted to get this, the, like this photo down and the story because, uh, pretty much the story behind this is, is that my great grandfather, they didn't really know much about him. And he came from Pennsylvania during the early 1930s looking for work. And he started to work on the farm of my great grandmother's parents. And they were like farmers and cow farmers and stuff. So he worked on the farm and that's how they met and they kind of fell in love and stuff like that. So, but you know, you think about it and the fact that, you know, my grandfather was like 17 or 18 and um, no one knew who he was. He was this mysterious, young, handsome man with, I mean, in this photo, he's got like wild hair. I'm sure he probably looked... <laughs> pretty mysterious because he was this young kid and you know you think of your 18 17 or you know 18 year old child you know taking trains or buses to, in the 30s looking for work you know I mean I would assume that my great-grandmother was just you know growing up in the country on a farm it's not like you see a lot of new stuff and to see this young man who's handsome and mysterious and you know from a different place it probably was just made it also more attractive <laughs> so I love this story so this is really why I wanted to scrap it and I am just adding some sequins and I am almost done with this I really didn't want to do much and at the end you're going to see pictures with the journaling I did this off camera because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to incorporate the journaling and by the time I realized what I was doing the next Next day, I just didn't bother putting it on tape, but I did add a little card on the side that says who it is on the front, so you don't have to look at the journaling if you don't want to, and, you know, so it does let you know who the people are, because otherwise you have no idea, and I used those Amy Tan letter, those word stickers that say smitten, just because I thought it was perfect, and even though they're not smiling... <laughs> in this photo I know that they really did love each other so <laughs> um, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you guys are enjoying this little series and I'm going to try to get some more of these my family photos done up in the next month or so so that you this series is a little bit more organized but I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you later bye mm -hmm.